Hello. Are you filming me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi there guys and welcome to another Cry Town Photography video and today I'm heading out with Paul Adams. Paul? Paul? Hello. How you doing? You alright? Just doing some slow-mo. <laughs> so yeah. welcome to Crytown Photography. I can't do that. How do you do it? <laughs> no, that's Peter McKinnon. You've gone now. You've stopped doing that, haven't you? Yeah. That's ages ago, isn't it? I've forgotten to do it in most of my videos. <laughs> that's probably the reason. <laughs> right, so you've got some shots of the ducks. Yeah, I did, yeah. And a, and a floating shoe. What? <laughs> There's a shoe. Just, just floating. floating in the water. Don't know. My... My uh, my analytical brain went, uh, why? Was it like a flip-flop or...? No, it was a plimsoll. I know they have plimsoll lines all the way along the canal, but that's just ridiculous. Today I'm joined by Paul Adams Photos, say hello. Hello. And uh, he's going to be my subject of choice. We're going to try and get some um, really nice portraits of Paul for uh, the Tog Squad website, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back from our little day out in Aylesbury um, and now I'm going to show you um, how to make your black and white photos pop. So the first thing you need to do is upload the photo of your choice into Snapseed. So we're going to start there and uh, I've chosen this shot of Paul. And the first thing I want to do is to go into tools and go to where it says tune image. And from there, um, select the option saturation and turn that right down to minus 100. Now, a lot of other photographers or amateurs tend to just leave it at minus 100 and that's it, that's black and white to them. But I wanna make this image pop. I want the blacks to really stand out and I want the highlights to really uh, capture your eyes. So when you look at the photo, you go, wow, okay, this looks really well done. So um, what you wanna do, instead of just doing the saturation, is to go into where it says contrast and increase the contrast a little bit. Now for every image, it will be different, um, obviously. So do play around with it to get the right kind of uh, darkness in your image. So you're not affecting too much of the highlights and some of the lighter areas, but you're uh, getting a lot more out of the, the, the blacks. So I like it roughly there where I can't see um, the detail in the, the jacket too much. That's sort of my guide. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is to go down to highlights and slightly increase that. So we bring up more of his uh, facial features to make it stand out a bit. There we are. So it's that simple. Um, following that, I wouldn't mess around with uh, any of the ambience or brightness because it tends to bring out some shadows, um, but you can if you want to. I want this very dark process look, so I'm just gonna hit that tick. Okay, and to take it even further, I'm gonna play around with the um, curves tool. And I really love the curves tool because it allows me to play with some of the shadowy areas and to give it this filmic look, which um, is quite signature to my photography. So. I'm going to go to curves and I'm going to slightly increase um, the bottom part there so it just brings in a bit of the, the shadows and the dark and then 
just a little bit there, pull it down. And in the middle somewhere. So you're trying to make like an S, um, but it, you don't have to make the S. The idea is not to really look at the where you're putting the points are, is to watch where it's affecting your image. So as you can see, I'm still trying to bring in some darks there. Okay. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. Um, the final thing I'm going to do is to bring in some details and sharpening just around um, some of the finer areas just to make it stand out even more because right now it looks very dull. Um, so I'm just going to increase the structure just a little bit and the sharpening just a little bit there. And there we have it. So this is my final image um, of Paul's uh, black and white to make it really pop. Um, I'm actually going to show you the difference between just using the saturation slider only. I'll pop it here up in the screen and you can have a look at the difference between a couple of minutes of just playing around with the different settings to get this kind of image rather than just hitting that saturation only. So thank you so much for watching my video. If you like what you've seen, do drop us a like, subscribe, and do your worst in that comment section. Also do check out Paul Adams' photos. All his information is down below. You can check out his vlog from the day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.